Okay, this is Professor Thompson, and I'm going to do some related rates examples from 2.7. The first one here is 11. If a snowball melts so that its surface area decreases at a rate of 1 centimeter squared per minute, find the rate at which the diameter decreases when the diameter is 10 centimeters. So the surface area, it's decreasing, or you could say it's increasing at a rate of minus 1 centimeter squared per minute. And I want to know the rate of change of the diameter. We'll use big D for the diameter when the diameter is 10 centimeters. Okay, so we need to relate surface area and diameter. Well, the formula for surface area of a sphere is this. It's S equals 4 pi r squared. And so if I want to use that, I need to change radius to diameter. So radius is diameter divided by 2. And so all of that gets squared. And so the 2 squared and the denominator and the 4 are going to cancel. So this is really just pi diameter squared. Now, because I have diameter, and I had to change it this time to begin with because uh, I want to do the rate of change of diameter, not radius. Now I can take the derivative with respect to time. So this is ds dt equals 2 pi d d d dt. Now let's see, I know ds dt, so I can just go ahead and replace some numbers here. ds dt, that's minus 1. The diameter was given to be 10, or we want to know the rate when the diameter is 10. So those are the numbers I've replaced. And so if I solve for d, 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 t, that is equal to minus 1 over 20 pi. And the units there should be centimeters per minute. So there's my answer. You can change it to a decimal if you want, but back of the book has it exact like that and that's completely fine.